it secures. You know, it's like if you're so aggressive, you're naturally gonna do a lot of work and further help that burst. But love the anti mage pick. Then it last hits. It was the fact that Supreme had walked up. Bot lane though, I'm baiting you away from it. Look at Koyori. Ah, he's dead. Yeah. Tomato's also pretty low as well. A lot of damage coming out from this combo of Narman and Force. The beast and the techie. The drafting it right. Like he wants to prevent the, the Ember from feeling good. So when Ember is in recovery mode, Anti Mage is still farming towards Battle Fury, Dyer's and then you're relying on a Doom, SDN, and Murana to make your game feel good. And that's a Doom who also just died top. Ari who has you know, a leap still, so he's fine. But it's like, <laughs> Bengen actually lives that. Plan for an Ember. Like he's not used to having this much pressure against him, right? Like, is Ari gonna try and fix the lane? He is kind of. There's heals coming out from the Dazzle though. Dazzle. He still has the two bottle charges. He's holding onto them for now. In comes the Techies though, looking for some revenge. Ooh. Radiant are scanning. Ari looking to steal a Wisdom Rune here as... Uh, oh, sorry, no, it's not Ari looking to steal the Wisdom Rune. It's uh, Bengen looking to steal the Wisdom Rune, but uh, he is going to pay the ultimate price for this one. Caught in his own shards, nonetheless. BZM will take that kill. A little nice uh, grab for him. A bit of a and this toned down portion of the game. Radiant and at least from the itemization, it does show that Mouse identified the need to you know, not play quick, but play on that forward thinking mentality as they do grab bzm they are going to try and layer the blast off Ooh, and... it's nice it's oh, nice no but it might not be enough beautiful shards coming out from bengen though bzm he's out of resources he's all out here he's oh, got one wrong. more remnant away large oofed indeed of course that is the thing with doom you know you leave him by himself as soon as he get oh and wait, wait what, the... what? How, how the fuck did he die oh he oh, just got onslaught and trampled all right. Yeah. See if they can get a bit of punish coming through here, but he's he had such a hard kill for this team to get. Of course, he sees a great target here. Yeah, if they can just blow up Hiori preemptively, then that makes life easier for the Ember Spirit. He is just gone. But still, Kaori dies. Now, well, he's starting to group up down on the bottom side here. Kaori going to unleash onto Bengen. Whisper coming in. He's got the Doom available. Snowball's going to come out immediately from Bengen. Bengen trying to get himself away. In fact, Force is coming in. They want to take this fight. And Whisper, he's going to be the target. Run down by Force by Allnet. The counter rotation was very, very good. Again, I'm really excited to see if Mouse can can do it. Because you can see the net worth as well. Like Even though they took Roshan, like, it's slowly going the way of OG. And they just top the net worth. On the oh, front lines again. Do like a like, sort of boxing or something. I, I, I offered, I offered up to Jenkins before. I tried pitching it to ESL, but they, they didn't buy it. No, not I what I said. Like just imagine, just like the undercard to a grand final. Oh, I think it could be pretty good. You know, just see an absolute fucking scrap. Then, the, then the team scrap after. Like in game, obviously, you don't have, we don't have a five on five like WrestleMania type brawl happening. Oh, Oh, he's dead. He certainly added. is, and uh, Whisper, he's going to be able to get Narman as well. So, a bit of a trade taking place here. Tomato getting on top of Force. Doesn't Force very low on mana here. BKP available, not anymore though. The right click comes through, and that seals Force's fate. No TP, he will die. That's pretty sloppy from Mouse, just leaving those yeah. so good. Gathering up as five down on the bottom side. I say that, there is one guy not in the club and that is Force. He's hanging out on the sidelines, poison chained up beautifully. And that'll bring down BZM. And that is what I was talking about, about the shard. Such a good item this game and absolutely gets some. Yeah, the shard turns people into piggies on the dazzle. The Ags uh, lets Shadow Wave bounce on enemies. Pretty cool. just in the middle of nowhere, but yeah, he's cutting waves. You, you, yeah, use the OG logic, guys. They're filling up. Where's the value? Don't know if there's much because everyone else is dying. I don't know. Um, but it's uh, pretty helpful. And BZM's getting run down at the moment. They have oh, again. Oh. BZM, he's gone. Another death in the same place for him. Keeps playing in the enemy jungle and keeps uh, grazing his knees. But here we go. They're going to be looking for the target. Kaori, they see him. That is a good pick off for them to grab. And they're also simultaneously going for the anti major. They're both going to die together. Basically, mm -hmm. what I have to deal with. There's Ari. 
He's Licking going in. for the wave, the absolute mad lad. That's not going to work out for you, son. Do you uh, play a bit of DDR to dodge out some of these, but it's going to be absolutely fine. Force, just making Radiance some noises in the back. Putting his abilities on cooldown. Well. BZM is approaching oh, here. He goes in with the Gleipnir, holding them back on the back lines, allowing the anti mage to get in and try and block oh. Narman. But there's Reactive Tater coming on through. Doom out onto the Dazzle. Look at the damage coming out from OG. They've taken down three already. Olnit and Force, the only ones left alive. They're going to have to try and stand their ground and fight this, but I don't know how without the teammates. Olnit's just going to likely fall here for the two times he's coming back. Oh, what a fight from OG. The damage coming out from BZM. Ari jumping on the back lines. The mana void as well. It was just too much damage. And now Olnit's going to die the twice. He gets Kyori in the end, but absolutely. Kyori hit the... They're so grouped up on the retreat that it was literally like a slight plus disseminate and everyone's taking a shit ton of the damage. So, like, Tomato jumps in with, like, kind of like the wild play of, like, hey, look at me. He then gets back out. It was like, in the brief second, you can you can be confused from that. You're like, well, that's bad. Mouth Gives confidence. Bro, then it's like, oh, happening. Woo. They're falling one apart, fight. man. Jesus. No, not another one. No. Not another one. Bengen, run. Run, Bengen. Run to them. Run oh, them. it's another kill going their way. Oh, it's a full mental crumble right now. It's not a delicious it's apple right crumble. Right it's a mental it's crumble. The worst kind. Four I, again, dead. I've never happening? seen it disseminate be so damn. Smoke up now from Mouse. They're going to immediately find each other though. Bengen, he gets caught. Chains are out on him. Sitting here, just waiting for a chance to use his snowball. We'll finally be able to get down. It's on the back lines. The uh, pulverize comes out onto the Doom, but Kaori's there with the disruption. Anti-Mage in the back lines, Whoa, but he's getting melted. What the hell? Where did he go? Mouse, well, they're suddenly fighting an OG without a carry right now. The opportunity to take this fight is very much within their grasp, but the catch is lacking for the moment. But there you go. Ember Spirit swarm yes. stolen by Ulnit, allowing him to get on top of Ari. Ari on the run. He's got one more pounce. He's got to make it work. Go to the tree, but Force catches him out with a stun, and they'll be able to bring him down. And that's a gem as well. Also be gifted the way of Mouse as they get back in control of the BKB Gleibner available. Lots of control. Radiance bottom tower. Oh, uh -oh they're looking for the dazzle. They want to find Supreme. Supreme's got the blink dagger now, though, so he can keep his distance and try to hide from Whisper. But Whisper, he wants him, and that's all this fight is kind of predicated on at the moment. But they have managed to find BZM on the front line, so the disruption's going to come out there from the Shadow Demon and Dazzle getting over to his team with the BKB running from Whisper. Whisper, he's going to drop it onto the Morphling instead. Bored of chasing him around this fight. There comes the Grave out onto Bengal, allowing to get off the punch, but they are backing themselves down on the side of Mouse. Of course. Supreme can do nothing to the Morphling here. He can't heal him up at the moment, but now his doom has ended. Olnik can get into the fight. Just... The poison's coming out from Supreme with Force bouncing around. I think OG are going to be after the ones to treat, retreat right now. Kaori taking heavy, heavy hits from Olnik and Force. He's going to lose his life to the crit. As Tomato with the back line jumps onto Supreme, but that's not going to work. Tomato is down. Mouse. They take the fight perfectly. And now Bullock goes towards BZM as well. He's got one remnant out. Will it be Radiant's enough? Jump down to the low ground. Olnit keeps on chasing, though. The rocks somehow miss, but a crit comes in. And Olnit gets a triple kill and goes straight onto the tier fours. Don't get a little bit too carried away, lads. But no, this is exceptional stuff. Oh, they, they had a refresher. Oh. Yo, that was take it back. <laughs> very, very Someone sneaky from Whisper. <laughs> The grave. He's not gonna be able to chain it though. The cooldown is too long. But he's gonna live. Oh, oh, live. What? <laughs> oh my god, the timing on that was brilliant. It lost five seconds. Out of the... All right, supreme. That's it. They're still losing heroes, but only one core gone down for two buybacks. One being on Tomado. The game now game hanging in the balance for OG. Roshan, so we'll see who gets yeah, it. I'm not sure. There's loads of good targets here. We'll just have to wait and see as they jump forward here. Trying to find the anti-mage without a buyback. Force, though, can't get on top of him. The work out starts out. Oh, trying to get the Aegis, though. He's going to be able to grab an OG coming to the pit, but only to die. BZM is gone once again. No buyback. Whisper as well. Also in some trouble here. He's going to fall. Neither of them have buyback now. It's looking bad. You have an Aegis for your Morphling. Someone grabbed the Axe as well. I don't know who, but it is looking like they can push for the end. Now, that said, the buyback has just come back from the, for the Ember Spirit. Techie's got the uh, the axe, but now it's going to be uh, hurting him just a bit more. And they jump onto Kaori. Did they have any follow-up damage? 
Ooh. He doesn't have blink as well. He's out there, no buy. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Like Mouths are going to be doing it. What was it they said at the beginning about pairing? Oh, hold on. Tomato jumping Wait, hold, in on Supreme. Supreme with a BKB, though. Heals himself up. And he's going to be all right. Tomato has to do something magical here. He's going to take down one. Moving on for more here. But the Hex is out onto him. And he is going to drop. And that should be it. Ember trying his darndest to do something here. But Supreme's going to be keeping them all alive. Keeping those heals pumping out. And make sure that nobody gets low enough to drop. Alright, wait, wait, hold, hold. I was yes. trying to do a round of applause for Mouse for this game. Other than like the top fight, but then again, so you could also just say that was a really good spell usage from OG. Hold. Maybe bad position for Mouse. Holding though, holding, sorry. Should we do my concluding thoughts yet? Yeah, wait, hold. Oh, he got right on the back lines. Doomed one coming onto the front lines. They're trying to go for the end here. If they can kill off the ball, they won't. Wait, wait, no force. He's trying to finish the game. He's trying to finish I mean, the game. He's not going to do it. What? Oh, Morphling's back though. He's going to do it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to be excited, mate. I didn't want to ruin your mind. 20, uh, 30, uh, 20 uh, call it 30 minutes, and you just go, you go, you go. And it's like, I'm not opposed to that. I like it. There's like, there's. Will he get out of lane <laughs> in a 2v1? <laughs> so, you know. I don't think he is. No, he's going to keep his mouth shut this time. <laughs> didn't, didn't look good after last game. <laughs> didn't work out in game one. <laughs> yeah. He's been humbled. <laughs> The battle begins. Oh, massive fight taking place over the rune here. And there's the shards coming out onto Whisper, forcing OG to turn around and fight this one. But Mao's there focusing all their aggression onto that Beastmaster. But he's going to get away. And it's Force who goes down instead. Narman also to fall in the back line. Supreme will get the kill onto Whisper. But BZM, he's going to be able to take him down. Static field available in one second. Never mind. The right click comes through. BZM gets the double kill and starts his lane off with 900 gold. Ulnit also going to full mouse. Then didn't, didn't do too well. Supreme. We had cooked up here a bit. A Kaori's coming in as well. They're going for this. Switching the tower accurate beautifully. Getting the kill onto Supreme. What a dive from BZM. <laughs> but is he going to suffer for it? Is he on the tower? He will fall. Force gets a much needed kill for this suffer fest, which he's been enduring. Meanwhile, no. No, it, it, it is close to innovation for sure. Um, but... Right. Like if you're this doesn't fit my preconceived ideas of what Dota is. Radiant it is actually. It's just it's just about it. It. Clowns. Yeah. yeah, that's me right now. Hold it. He's probably dead here. Whispers right on top of him. Kaori's there as well. No help coming on through. Kaori will bring him down. He's already there. And he's just gonna. Maybe he's gonna have to get denied here. Oh, no deny. All right, OG, you're not meant to feed to the Venom guys. He's jungling heroes, the madman. Fiori probably just gonna die to Bengen here as well. Uh, Bengen yeah, doesn't have cooldowns, cool cool. but it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> the side of mouths. Yep. I saw it. <laughs> the fuck uh, is happening? Yeah. That's good. I think like, top lane's gonna get slapped. Everything's gonna get slapped. Like, OG are gonna win everything. Right, every lane. Right, we we cannot. The game is over. Try and <laughs> this. But, well, but my thought is simply when Narman hits six, if he can leave the jungle and kill a Beastmaster, you know, nullify is the biggest threat on the map, then you could argue everything's been worth it. And Force is also Whoa, making an, another rotation mid. So I think, like, Force is dealing with the Razor nicely, two kills. So incredible. Like, the fact that you're off lane DK done this is inc insane from Force. But that's where it's like everything really stems on can Venom leave jungle at the right time? to fix the rest of your lane, because your ult, your carry is just feeding, it's just dying. Venomous Gale, will it be a Venomous fail? Will it be a Venomous whale of a time? BZM gonna be the target, ulti comes out, Mouse they're throwing everything onto him, but OG are ready, they have heroes nearby, but is it gonna matter? There's a lot of damage down onto the Razor, but he's healing up at the moment, he's got the stick, the one, but it's not gonna be enough! Floor Supreme gets him, it costs him so much though, and now Force, he's in some trouble, Sharpshooter's gonna find him, Bengen as well, get run down by Whisper, they've already traded two lives for it, it might be more. Supreme though, gonna grab the double damage rune, and that should stabilize him for the time being. So I'm looking to reset, but Narman, he's gonna have another ult available in 10 seconds. He's gonna start to take over the enemy side of the map, look over towards Ari. Ari's getting away. Supreme with the DD can't come in on this one as well. Ooh, the fire actually lands. 
It's gonna be enough to kill him. <laughs> what a snipe from Kaori. The Phoenix Master coming into play. Yeah. The people own the means of the production. You and I. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Ooh, defeat the OG bourgeoisie. As uh, Egg does get dropped onto Narman, so we should be able to bring him down. Nice snipe from Ari as well to secure the kill. And that's a that's a big one. I mean, any of any of these four heroes is a decent They're making these motions. So um, OG probably is a Venno team, uh, from my guess. Supreme gonna be able to get the jump away and then not getting caught by a sharpshooter either, but it's just gonna get melted regardless by BZM and Kaori. Nice change coming out though onto three from Supreme, but it doesn't matter. They'll get themselves away on OG. Super well, but the moment you force them out of their comfort zone, it, it, it doesn't really look super convincing. We've had a few moments of BZM getting jumped here in the middle lane. But like, I don't hate that they're trying new things. I don't hate that they're trying to like diversify their drafts a bit. Admittedly, um, this is this, this is the kind of experimentation like me. You see, admittedly, this one's not looking great, but keep going. You'll figure it out, lads. Stun out. Oh, tomato Lock, and he does get off the ultimate somehow during this, but he's just surrounded by heroes looking for the pounce out. Oh, the bushwhack oh, bush from Ari. Not gonna matter though. Supreme uh, tomato goes down regardless. Supreme gets a kill. Mana boots carry, and then you look at your DK. It's like it's a mana boots off lane. You're like, oh. Oh god. <laughs> Why? Why do all my cores have mana boots? And you got, you got three mana boots. Okay, alright, Mal. They're, they're punching up a little bit. Yep. <laughs> Trying to make some plays, was... showing us that, uh, you know, they're, they're not out of this one yet. They still got their boxing gloves on. Yeah, they're... they might be, they be black eyed and bloody nosed, but they're ready to oh, play some okay. Dota. This force is going to get run down here. No surviving this one. Here we will grab that kill. Denying Squawk because he claims it from Wisp. Buckle in, everybody. They might find Ari. They're going to find Ari. Ari has they been found. found. Located. Observed. Can't. <laughs> oh, come on. They can do it. There you go. Snowball's through as well. Yeah, just uh, It's easy kill. Nice quick kill onto Ari. Very smooth. Very clean. Uh, and now Rudd. Yep. Because very, uh, oh, very clean kill. Very clean kill. Where's, where's on Phoenix. What the fuck? All right. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to kill him, so. Oh, oh tomato oh, was hunting. He certainly did. He might be dying. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, wait. He got denied by a creep. All right, worth. I'm a believer of early orchids on supports if you can get them. Um, it's very, very strong because now you have to, like, buy BKB, yours, or Manta. Lotus as well, but it's not really bought. Really, really good. Rangan's dead, but this is a very deep beast master here, and there is damage coming out from the backlands off Mouse, which they're just not respecting on OG. BZM just trying to stay alive under the supernova here. Maus will respect it and not jump in and get stunned, but BZM taking so much poke damage during this as well. Kaori as well, also getting low, being forced back. There is just a complete lack of respect of OG for this uh, Venomancer and Clinks on the backlines. And it feels that way because they're going into the backlines to try and find them, but Mouse are just out positioning them in these fights. And that's why it's looking awkward. And now Tomato being caught again. Ari comes in with a nice little bushwhack and a good dark pack from Tomato. Gets him out of danger. But Mouse, they are feeling it and they are wrestling this game back into their hands. And Ari's coming back to lane. He thinks they're strong, giving up the chase, but they have not. They're going to be able to take him down. Wow. On it on a killing spree now on this Clinks, which had no game. And all this OG just aren't respecting what Mouse can do, right? Like, again, the, the fact that, like, Slark gave away a kill, Slark gave away, a, you know, another kill. Then you're diving a tier two. BZM living again on a sliver of HP. But what's oh, the dice? Like, like, like. Okay, maybe they kill the yeah, Clinks. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, this looks good. All it yeah. dies. Yeah. I'm pulling yeah. it back. This scrappy Dota is what OG will win. A full formulated five on fives. Mouse will take it every time. Game. He is bottom net worth of all the cores. But the way that he's approached this with like getting blink, being active, not trying to scale up. Like he's looking at four stuff as well. Like, I think this is, this is what you need. Hold it. Be careful, careful, buddy. Oh, oh my, it. Oh my God. God. Yeah, but, uh, uh, hey, but, uh, okay. I'm just praising the DK and then meanwhile... That is the thing with OG. It is just relentless aggression, right? Yeah, he's a half a recipe away. This is now, you expect second Roshan, you got double BKB timing. Dyer's 
You should have fed OG once again to, to dominate the game. And yeah, Supreme Dream done. Oh, I say that. So Noble cool. save coming on through pretty big, and they might just be able to get him out here. Force is gone as Whisper dies as well on the sidelines. Tries to go deep for the raw, but gets punished for it. And Commando, he's got the pounce, but it's... Oh, yeah. 5 HP! Surely, I, surely, I, I surely. They don't have any chase. They don't have any catch. There we go. Chains comes through, and that'll be enough to bring down Tomato and Kaiori. Nice chains coming out on the sidelines from the Ember Spirit. The Orchid wasn't enough and wasn't there in time to stop him from getting those kills. And now, I'm not sure they're going to be able to chase him down there. Olnit, he's 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 wants it. He's hungry. But will he get to eat? Are fortified. Well, I get to eat. Uh, under attack. BZM. All the oh damage. Yeah, I think it's just going to be too much. He's trying to get away from it, but he just can't. A well-placed burning barrage means there is no escape from those shards and no escape from the damage of the clinks. BZM dies as well, which does posthumorously make it a uh, full five-man team wipe. We'll give it to him. And now they're going to get more. Six-man team wipe. Nice. Again, it's the... It's the, the the team fight pressure, and the Ember was going in, I just screamed, come, come, come. I meant to say, come on, but it doesn't fucking matter in the moment. Mm. And I'm now worried that my neighbors just heard me screaming, come. Fuck the bit, they think you're having sex. No, I was just playing Dota, I swear. Clicks <laughs> <laughs> uh, is just dead, Dota. though. They did the classic, let's run through the portal with no vision on the other side. And, uh, well, they're all dead because of it, so, you know. What, what is this game? It's just like a... Da, 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 da. If they want to go for a pickoff, it's like, Beast blink in, Hoodwink damage from afar, maybe a Sunray. And then both the cores are kind of a little bit lost because Razor, if he commits, then probably going to get hit down after. Okay, Ember does die top to the... Yeah, Light Mirror reveals Larry. Yep, Orchid. Plus Light Mirror. Very good, but yeah, it's... Um, OG, they need to be careful. OG will be forced to respond. I guess the ult up again, man. Yeah, there's uh, gotcha. something to be said for Megan not being able to uh, kind of link up these stuns. I don't know if it's possible even, Slug versus, uh, versus Tusk, but it's looking really awkward now as they can move on to the Venomancer as well, and all because they just couldn't kind of chain the stuns together onto Tomato. He gets off that ulti and the whole thing is just... Yeah. yeah. Like, of course there is a balance, and I'm generalizing it very quickly during a cast, but... We shall see. They are jumping into Narman though. He has all the auras yet to press any of them. Snowball save. <laughs> Snowball save is there, but Narman is just going to go down. Mancio Pos 3 dead. Will's trying to fight up into OG, but that's not really going to work. The slows are out and Force is gone. Three quick and go. Blink dagger available. Blinks up to the high ground. TP's out. Ares. They kind of need, if anything, I guess maybe like Ember with BKB. But even Wait, with the what Roy, the hell is... They've been scanned on this cliff. Mao's... Uh, not sure what's going on. I mean, Aaron, OG just here with their two supports. They're even popping the supernova. Tomato's coming in as well. They want to try and keep Ari alive. That's not going to happen. Ari is dead. But Megan's also going to die as well. Supernova's exploding on its head. Whisper's here. He certainly is. Refresher. And the backlines roar out onto Supreme. Refresher, second roar onto Supreme. Whisper wants to take him down. Won't quite be able to do so. Now Olnit's got the opportunity to stand here and deal some real damage to the OG heroes. But now that his front lines are starting to crumble, he needs to get himself out. And that is exactly what he's going to do as Narman and Force do fall. Supreme's dead as well in the mix of this as well. And uh, it does seem that OG are going to be able to take this fight. And that's the, the actual, uh, just the bigger fight, the scaling. Short aura is a nice book. There's no one really utilizing the auras. Like your ember isn't really strong enough to stand his ground into it. The clink with the clink is not like OG. They own the early game. They struggled and yeah, these okay. That was a little dive not bad. again. Oh, I was about to say that they fixed also opting not to go for like a BKB, but just upgrades the diffusal for disperser so we can at least get rid of roots uh, in that way. Okay, we'll see if Mouse can some, create some magic. Mouse can see, but I don't really have any concerns for Tomato at this point. Nice oh. bushwhack coming out with a Gleipnir as well, putting Olnit in a whole world of hurt. BZM trying to run him down with a double damage rune right now, trying to find the Klinks on the sidelines, but Klinks is on the runner. They don't have the vision, so I have to turn towards Narman instead. But Narman is going to be an easy kill for BZM and Tomato. They will scoop up the uh, two plus three players on the side of Mouse.
with ease once again and claim their victory, which is likely going to be the Aegis. Though Supreme's going back in again. He's, he's got his Shivas finished off, so able to just kind of dance around here and do a good amount of damage to Kaori. And actually, BZM is gone. Ulnit finds the entry point. They'll trade Bengen for it, but a trade they'll be happy to make here. Ulnit and Supreme continue to play the poking Radiant game. Ari has a hex. As he uses it on Supreme here. Now the Gleipnir coming down as well. And they will connect with the leash. Do they have another one? No, they don't. Still on cooldown for a few seconds. But the Orchid's there, so it doesn't matter. Supreme is gone. And now OG looking for more. And Ori finds him. Oh my goodness. Harry Kane doesn't miss. They'll take him down. Five did pretty well, but you have to ask, hopefully for you know for OG's sake in the future, they just clean that up a little bit. So 29,000 gold lead. Blink does have buyback, but he uses that. He can say goodbye to a Daedalus. So we're going to try and prevent that as much as possible. Marlo is happy to sit on the front lines. He's got so many stacks right now, but does get caught out a little bit. He's got the dark pack trying to run himself away and jump out with the leap, but the right clicks from Ulnit are following, and it will be enough to bring him down. Supreme is going to die in response to those whispers on the front lines. He's got a BKB available due to that refresher, and he's going to have to use it here, but it's still not going to help him from the physical damage of the clinks. Whisper will just back himself away and try to TP out. He's got a blink TP available. Going to use it. Uh, Bengen? Good thing. He's gonna die. Um, uh, uh, no, stop talking about what's happening in the scene. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so how's your day been, T? Um, it's been real as well, because why not? OG couldn't ask for more. I don't know. How do Mouse do this? Go and look at game three. 11% T. Yeah. Still 11%? Appar no. Apparently so. Apparently it's still 11%. I, I don't know how. I mean, Kaori died, so maybe that's how. Okay. How dare we, we doubt. Okay, Ben, as BZM's going in. The rest of the team is super out, by the way. This is just BZM being like, uh, guys? And I'm TPing forwards. I can cut him off here. This is really awkward. 11%. Oh my god, Whisper's jumping in. He's going for this right now. Uh, okay. There's the 11%. This is the 11%, man. We thought it was a meme, but Gabe knew. How dare we doubt him. Tomato on the run, has himself an Aegis here, but just wants to TP out safely and should be able to do that. No Gleipnir available for oh, another oh, three oh. seconds. So Whisper, Oslo, anyone else? Blink, you got a Harrigan bike. Go oh, on, the Gleipnir finds him. Yeah, Whisper's So the 11% was dead. factoring OG's dive. Yeah, I, I think BZM like going so far in, everybody else going so far back was just yeah. like both of them. I, like, like everybody kind of played that one weird on OG. I, I think just ditching BZM with that was absolutely crazy. With BZM going too over aggressive is crazy. I don't know. There's too many things. So Bengen's over aggressive. What? Yeah, Bengen just looking for the old, the old kick in the head. He, he got it. He got the <laughs> yeah, true. Well, not like that, but. Uh, egg in the back line is forced to be used because the Clinks was going for the snipe on the sidelines. So Ulnit forcing out. I believe it was no the second corner. egg as well. Yeah, it was. So it was. It was. Long time without egg. Ages, of course. Position. Radiant are I think rapier on Clinks and maybe BKB on Ember are the next couple of items that we can really care about. Why is Ember so bright? What happened? <laughs> He's so bright. Oh, hold on. All right, they find the Venomancer. Venno does have buyback available, so he's going to drop as they go in on Beastmaster, looking for more, but the Hex is out on him. Tomato jumps onto the front lines as well, using the Egg as the go time of the Raw catches Bengen at the very edge there, and they will be able to bring him down. Bengen has fallen as they go in deep on the Ember Spirit, but he's going to get caught out as well now as well. The Leash connects, and it's going to be a Death to Zerim, most likely. The damage is in. Tomato with the triple. Buyback is available for the Ember Spirit, however. I don't know too much there. Let the Venno die. Uh, they tried to make something happen out of that. Didn't work out. Now Venno in some trouble as well here. He just fought back into this and he is gone. 100 seconds. Down goes on it as well. Buyback available for him. We'll move on to the DK. DK also getting cut down by the Slark. Tomato. He's got so many stacks. He's way too strong. And they should just be able to finish one up now. Supreme's going to fall now as well. That should be it. Klinks can't do it by himself. He knows it. We know it. GG is called. We will be going to a game three after all. That was like too stressful of a game for a, for a win, but it's a game three. We're going to get a game three. OG. I have no idea, actually. That could be pretty bad, but.
Let's see the uh, tomato time zone is up at top side. Oh, John Truth, she's gonna live. She's gonna live. Didn't, didn't even have the uh, overprotective wisps. Just straight up nature's attendant. Oh, going going in? Oh, oh, he's got it. He's actually got the kill. That was so risky into a shadow fiend. Bosh buckle from Supreme does land, but it's not enough. It's up on the top side. Bengen's gone down again. Timber chain misses though, so Olnit might be okay for the time being. But that said, they are not leaving this guy alone. And Olnit, he's gonna fall again. Double kill for Arya's Nami comes teeping into this one, but I don't really know what he can do. He's kind of lacking in the whole mana department. Gonna pop the mango. He's got to land a good bushwhack here. If he wants to live, he's gonna use it onto Ari instead as he gets a triple kill on the Enchantress, <laughs> trying to just survive inside oh these these uh, shards, but isn't going to be able to do so. Will eventually go down. Has his to be like fun, I reckon. And maybe only like subscribers or something, but just a way to filter out like any kind of like low commitment or throwaway accounts is on it. Is going to die once again. Whisper hitting six and just completely bullying the Shadow Fiend. It's uh, looking like Whisper is just going to completely turn this game inside out. Uh, you know, yeah. not, we're not really doing great. Oh, that, oh, that timber chain wasn't, you know... Uh, Ooh, missed the timber chain <laughs> earlier. Then, I saw it. Could have oh, been better. Yeah. That's rough. Oh, that'd be a shame. Nah, save a life with never. He's a good bean. Or maybe he would. I don't know. Uh, this is a dead oh. supreme, though. Yeah, they just... <laughs> I'm dying. The crystal man just never gave up. Kaori was just, just, yeah. He had the bit between his teeth there. I wasn't going to let go. Yeah, so BZM doing very well in the mid lane. Norman I mean, Fair Farm was fine. It was just the, the rotation. Him just get, getting out of the uh, the lane will help. Mudding, he still didn't have time zone. I'm waiting. I'm patiently waiting for time zone to come through as Whisper being bullied right now. Tomato jumping in, but of course no time zone available, so just kind of have to watch as his Timbersaw does go down. Whisper was having such a good game, does now drop as Olna gets the ult from this and will be able to take down Tomato as well. Double kill for the Shadow Fiend as OG try to continue the aggression at the top side, but Mouse this time are ready for it. Uh, they're happy to kind of take it back a notch. Even though they do now have the time zone to work with, they're uh, kind of chilling at the moment. I guess the other big thing about time zone versus um, Chronosphere, which we haven't really mentioned, is that obviously time zone buffs your teammates rather than nerfing them. When you've got these very yep. active in the uh, mid and off lane, as uh, BZM will just come through and rip apart Narman, but now Force is in time trouble. Zone! Time zone comes down. He's so in the zone right now, bro. And it does allow the Queen of Pain to escape at the very least. They'll kill off Force as well, but uh, not a ton of damage dealt during it. And Kaori, unfortunately, getting cooked up from the sidelines by Olnit and Bengen. Nice shards coming out from the Tusk to trap Kaori in there. And now Tomato and Ari have to leave. <laughs> Mid-game. Mid-game Admiral. Are you tired of watching this game? Are you tired of watching Whisper die in the top lane? <laughs> Press one right now if you'd like to watch some ads. <laughs> But only went from if being I... completely stepped on to dominating now with an Aegis. Yeah. This is... Whew, I want a change in pace. Top side. Supreme. Supreme uh -oh. Door stuck. It's good damage being dealt to the Pangolier. Enough to chase him back at the very least. And uh, the Wildwing Ripper also helping out with this one as well. Supreme up to the high ground. Whisper. One second left for the Timber Chains have finished the job. And they will bring him down. Kerry pops the ulti as well just to make sure... And also, oh look, we're uh, farming all these creeps as well, whoopsie. Classic Crystal Maiden play. Yeah. You know, so, progression wise, it's such an early Aegis that you don't really want to use it in a uh, an aggressive manner. And that's why OG are like, well, you've got Aegis, but it doesn't really mean anything. We're not going to slow down our game because you just took a resource for the map. I haven't been really watching the China qualifiers. I'm sorry. Radiant. Hold up, we got a smoke on our hands. No, no, that's way more important. Tomato we might have run. a... Oh, nice time walk away. Gets himself to safety for now. Now he turns around with the time. Boom! There we go. <laughs> Start to deal the damage. Sonic Wave cutting through them as well. It's melting the side of Mouse. They've lost Supreme. They've lost Narb and Force as well in trouble. The right click's coming through. To Whispers there to finish the job. And that is just way too deep for the side of Mouse. What are you doing there? I have no idea what that was for a gank. Like in that area. Hasn't really reacted to it at all, though. They're jumping forwards. They're looking for BZM. The stun misses, though. It's clumsy from Mouse. BZM, though, might still be going down here regardless. He does. Link not available, so it does just end up dying. They can't. <laughs> Maybe every time we should just do like a pump and dump really on some sort of like, me. I could do a, I could do a single minute, right? <laughs> <laughs>
to it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Supreme's oh, dead. The Gleipnir's come out onto Nalman, but he's turned around with a fairly tasty bushwhack. But uh, now with a time dilation on him and Whisper upon him as well, he is incredibly dead. Force with the jump away does just about get himself to safety by the looks of it. OG's oh. gank just a little a bit better. Connecting onto Bengen. Bengen! Ben gone, more like. <laughs> oh, man. He dies. That was going to work either way, because either he TPs out, he's Ben gone, or he dies and he's Ben gone, so. Onto the CM. That's Ooh, a free shit. kill. Like, this is kind of what I expect from Mel. Like, I'm expecting a little bit more go find kill. Have a good ward out. Like, they just don't have the vision to respect it, I guess. Ulti from Olnik, gonna catch onto the two of these, setting up force for an easy two-man stomp and just annihilating BTM, but he does get the TP out. Tomato commits with a time zone onto force and on to Olnik as well. Holding them still with the Gleipnir and now having to get himself away, but that leaves Whisper in a horrible position as he is gonna fall. BTM tries to jump in to fire a bit more damage back their way, but he's just gonna drop the spears, so they'll find Olnik. Ari doing the work from the sidelines. Bengen also being brought down as well. Will die to the time dilation. Ari and Tomato are getting it done right now. No Man almost survived, but not today. And they will clean up everybody. Tomato and Ari, the dream team. I guys, don't do it. Radiant are scanning. No. Oh. Oh, actually, the rest of the team, they might get... Oh, no, they're not going to get in time, though. Tomato, he's thinking about it. He's got it available. And here we go, time. No! There we go. <laughs> Stimazor backs himself away on it, just trying to blow up BZM, though BZM is gone. But Force also taking a ton of damage from Ari on the side, and still completely untouched during this, but Tomato, he's in the pit. Time walk out, will be okay for the time being. OG holding steady as far as Olnit, just sitting on the front lines, dealing the damage, happy to trade his life to get more damage off in this fight, and he's not, he's not even going to have to yet. do it. He's not even dropped. There's still a lot of damage coming out onto Supreme, though. Ari still just trying to be the guy, trying to be on the front lines, but he's not the guy. He will fall, and Kaori will go down next as well. It's going to be OG dropping four and not even getting the Aegis in response. Just a couple of kills going their way. They were just too late to the party. The chat is thirsty. Every six minutes, I just see a new wave of ones. <laughs> they yearn for the mine. I mean, the ad. Uh, Quop. This is looking pretty dead. Oh, no, never mind. Link away. Where'd she go? Down here? Oh, still dead. Uh, oh. Narman, the damage was still upon him, unfortunately. So it will be a dropping. Tomato. BKB is available. We'll just time walk it for now. But Olnit really wants to keep this chase going and maybe get off a bit of damage. In the back lines, though, they're going to look over towards Bengen. OG are bringing the heroes. Olnit cooking up an ult here. So a lot of damage coming through onto Bengen. Olnit just baiting with the ulti at the moment. They'll get on top of Tomato. He's got the time walk out, but well, eh, it won't be so lucky for Whisper. Or will it? Timber Chain's there, and he's going to survive as well. Now they can look over towards Force. Force has nothing left. He's going to fall. The time zone is out, and Olnit's just going to walk out of it. Unfortunately, you can, you can just do that, so... On it lives. There's Flight Near out as well, but unfortunately it's just not doing a whole lot. They'll take him down the first time. Now they need to be ready to respond to this, and they are. Supreme, he's in with Rolling Thunder, but BKB's out from Tomato. Tomato just hitting away at Olnit, but not finding the time locks. The two of them just not getting the stuns, so Tomato's gonna have to go up to the high ground. BCM comes in, though, and finishes the job. The Queen of Pain with the burst damage is there, and now Kaori just letting it go on Supreme's head. Tomato's back in. BCM gets a double kill. Forehead on the side of Mel's. Ari will get found by Narman on the sidelines anyway, as BCM's continuing to chase. Has to be a little bit careful, though. The Skrull does pass a punch and with a haste rune might just be able to run himself away but still great fight for OG in the this was kind of unhinged I like how he's playing this game as well just Atos in. Kaya Ags get in pop oh, that reactive oh, and just go to work and force is just gonna get run down here so much I'm ready I am. think it's just um, discord delayed to be honest with you Tomato finds Bengen gonna drop the Gleipnir down not committing it just yet as Bengen getting low stuns out though this could be bad if Tomato can't break out of this fear but he does he gets a beacon he turns around the time zone and now it continues the fight going as Nalman's gonna drop and they'll look over towards force as well he's so damn slow he cannot expect to escape the zone and Whisper's gonna get the double kill from this one as well, but that said, they haven't lost too much on Mills, but they will just have to back themselves away and go for the reset. You still have the negative effects of time zone, the slow and also your attacking one. Not, so. This is debuff immunity, yes. The Supreme yes. does get roasted and toasted and burnt to a crisp in the middle lane. Without coming into contact with OG.
isn't this just like a really good blink game from Dyer Tusk though? You see the time zone, uh, I guess, but then the cast point Dyer's would actually hurt you to even try and snowball. You can't snowball, it's at least, yeah. Uh, oh, you need it. Drops the yeah. LT onto the Timber. Sorry, gets off the reactive armor though. It's doing so much work, that axe. It's too good. On it, BKB TP out. It wants nothing to do with this one. Force is going to be left behind and he's going to die. Two dead on the side of Mouse. OG will eliminate Mouse from this area of the map. Exterminate these mice. The rat trap's going to work. And it's removed? But again, the mouses don't have that in their toolkit right now. And if they had it, then that'd be a free timber kill. Uh, all net, without a BKB, he's just been caught out here and he's just straight up dead. Thought he could go for a way. I don't know if he thought that OG were going for Roshan or something, but either way, he's just, just fed away his life. A very important life at that. 70 Take it to your opponent. So all three cores that points in their, in their natural play style are you know, in your face style players. Only going to be forced to BKB this one. The time stones out on him though, and they'll be able to take him down. We'll move over towards Bengen. And that's just too dead and stones. <laughs> like it might be the last cry here from Mouse. It's not a big explosion yeah. to leave the tournament for them. It's just a little whimper as OG come barreling down the lanes. They don't have creeps with them, though. The only creeps are in topside, and it might be a race to go and get those pushed out from Mouse, but Dyer's middle barracks way longer. Weak. Oh, my God. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Getting flamed. Win from them as well. I want to be no, 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 no. We only. Team. There is no time for a clean win here. EDM jumping in with a sonic wave. It's so much damage. They just melted Bengen and Force over on the side. Narman's going to fall as well. The Ancient also being taken here by Tomato. Happy to face tag that sharpshooter. Force is in. What's it going to matter though? Narman running to the side. Gets caught out by BCM. Won't let them escape. Won't let them breathe in this game. Number three as GG is called. And it will be OG continuing their run here in the lower bracket and eliminating Mouse from...